Let's talk references. References are a lot like pointers, but there's a lot of differences as well. If you're used to references in Java and C Sharp, a lot of the concepts are the same, but there are some differences, so let's just get right to it. I'm going to define int i on the stack. Let's assign i the value of 51. All right, now I'm going to make an int reference. All right, notice the ampersand. All right, let's just say j gets i. I'm going to set j's value to 71, and then I'm going to print out i. All right, now pause the video, think what's going to happen. Build it, run it, i's value was changed to 71. Because j is a reference to i, it's kind of like j is pointing to i, or when I say j, I'm really kind of saying i, or I'm saying the exact same RAM that i represents. Uh, kind of same thing. It's, it's like it's, I almost have two names to represent this one piece of RAM that is on the stack. All right? uh, notice though I put the ampersand here. With pointers we take the address of variables like that. References are a little different. We just say, hey I have an int reference, call it j, and it's going to reference i. All right? So some of the rules, let me, uh, the rules with references are a little interesting. Unlike pointers, uh, references are constant, meaning you cannot change what a reference is referencing after you've set it. So, for example, I have this red squiggly here saying error reference variable j requires initializer. So as soon as you define a reference, all right, and you set it to something, that is set and constant. I can change what the value of being, I can change the value of what I'm referencing, but I can't change what I'm referencing. Okay, pointers are kind of nice because you can say, hey, point here, okay, point over there, do that kind of thing, da 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 da. All right, uh, with references, the syntax is a little bit more friendlier. I'm going to scroll up here. Oh, we have our cow back. All right, and cow has a moo count, so let's get Betsy on the stack here. I'm going to say cow Betsy. All right, and let's set Betsy's moo count. Let's say she's lived a while, you know, maybe she's. Uh, Moo 999 times. I don't know how long it takes for a cow to move 999 times, but that sounds good to me. Let's make a cow reference. Cow um, C. Okay, cow reference. i got to use the syntax properly. Gets Betsy. And I'm going to say C dot Moo count gets, I don't know, 13. All right. So hopefully you can, if we, if we say, hey, Betsy dot Moo count, Hopefully you would expect, well, pause the video and think about it. What's going to print when I print Betsy's moo count? I hope you're expecting 13 because I modified that same moo count via C to be 13 here. Okay, so it's almost like C is pointing to Betsy or C is just another name for Betsy or when I say C, I really mean Betsy. But this is, this is, this is a runtime construct, not a compile time construct. Let me, uh, I'll, I'll demo that in a minute, but look here. Look at the syntax. With pointers, I had to use that arrow thing. Or I had to dereference the pointer like this. And then I could say dot on it. With references, yeah, they're a little pointer-ish, but they're constant. They're just, they're, they're more not like pointers than they are like pointers, but I, I can just say dot on a reference. Okay, kind of nice, kind of convenient. Let me show you what these References are good for. Um, sometimes it might be out of your control. You've got some long, arbitrary, well, not with spaces, but some ugly variable name that you need to you need to use a lot in your code. So, so now I've just changed Betsy to this big, ugly variable name. So now every time I say Betsy, I gotta go like that, and I gotta go like that. All right. Well, one quick trick I'll use is I'll just say, okay, well, cow C here gets gets our big, long, ugly variable name. Right? And then from there on out, I can just say C dot, and it's the same as typing this big, long, ugly variable name several times over and over again. Now I just got this quick and dirty C dot. And as long as I'm keeping my scope kind of minimal, I'm not spanning too many lines, I, I kind of like that. That makes it nice and readable, and I think it helps there. So that's one reason why to use references. But another reason to use references is with uh, parameters and the functions. But it's going to take a little longer to explain and show that one, so I'm going to do that in the next video.